So welcome everyone. Uh, before we kick off, just a reminder, information reminder. If you need any help during this event, you can go to the information session in the session overview, or you can look for people like me with a pink cloud symbol. We're the cloud buddies and try to help out as best as possible. And you can also email at hello at catapult.tech. And to make this event even more fun, we strongly uh, advise everybody to co-create and participate and join in on the conversation. I know that James wants to do something with that as well. And please just explore, go from event to event, session to session, try to meet new people and network. Also, uh, if you're in a conversation, try to remember to mute yourself because it's easy to get a lot of echo and that often ruins the conversation. And last but not least, remember to move around, to drink, to dance, uh, to eat, uh, to keep the energy flowing during this whole day. Then it is my pleasure to introduce James from the UK. He's going to have a session on Jungian models and collaborative coaching. So, James, floor is yours. Awesome. Thanks, Jan. Awesome to be here today. Just going to share my screen. That should be up. Can you see that? Yeah. Awesome. Right. So, um, yeah, thank you. Lovely to see you all here today. This is exciting stuff. So nice to be back at Catapult, uh, albeit from my uh, from my uh, office in the loft. But uh, we've still got the crazy headbands on. We can still have fun. Um, and I hope will there be some like DJ sessions and some uh, virtual saunas later. So, um, look, brilliant to have you all here. Um, today I'm talking about uh, the joy of Jung um, so, and co-creating more than the sum. So it's, uh, I, get, I get these kind of moments in life where I start to go down rabbit holes and I've been going down this one for the last kind of month or two. Um, so yeah, you get to see the inside of my head for, uh, for 40 minutes. Right, so check that's going so yeah this is uh, me so i've been uh, co-creating in kind of business and with teams since 96 this was in the uh, the uh, windsurf club bit um it was cardiff uni at the time um and uh, yeah with the wind in my face and the hair in my eyes uh, i never was that great at oral sex so uh here we go you're in for a ride so uh, lots of participation today um this is uh something that talks about uh 10 ways to appear smarter in meetings so my favorites being uh always draw a venn diagram so hopefully you guys can see that so uh look out for these today uh asking everyone to take a step back that's another way to to sort of look quite clever uh, in, in a meeting and the third one is to ask will it scale no matter what it is so let's see whether any of these are in this today so what we're going to cover oh my uh my screen is using too much power uh we're gonna like so welcome hop in um next up is uh so Jungian foundation so i'll go into a bit of that um it's a jungle out there when you start to look into where this sort of permeates society and in culture it's it's like amazing to sort of see like how um much of uh Jungian thought and his models have come into uh into our world um we're looking at embracing diversity and diversity of thought through um uh, collaboration and we'll do a group sounding board so we'll actually do a session together so we can all um, kind of experience it and blow our minds and then we'll hop off so on to something else um, so uh, Carl Jung uh, yeah he he had many great quotes but one being the brighter the light the darker the shadow um, and uh, <clears throat> the, the the fascinating element or point about this is you start to realize that there is uh, we each have a shadow side um, and it's something that is, is hidden from us. Our ego tries to make sure that we can't see our shadow side. In fact, is its very existence to some extent is to try and protect us from it and to try and protect us in, in a sort of guise of what reality is. Um, and, you know, there's ways and techniques of trying to unlock and to see this kind of other side to who we are. Um, ah, where is the sound? I don't have sound. I have sound. Mm -hmm. so I was, uh, is this an issue for several people? Or? Yeah, three people said they love it, but where is the sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can hear us. Oh, some can hear it. Okay. 
I'll keep going and uh okay thank you some of you can hear me those that can will get you the recording or something and you can watch it um to the dj session later um so yeah so Jungian archetypes are, are kind of a, a, a something that all of us are familiar with and it in it um this permeates storytelling and the 16 archetypes are, uh um so unlike stereotypes which are sort of localized and like you know country by country and culture by culture stereotypes um are you know pervasive around the world and so um we're all understand like these different um characters in stories in fact the story is almost like impossible to tell without one of these characters um an example of the hero journey is um you know luke skywalker in in uh in um the, the middle of the, the trilogy and there's also um you know a bit of a, a, a weird sort of lover story in there as well so I'm not too sure kind of what what that was about but we're all understand what these architects are and there's kind of like three stages you've got the ego kind of preparation um grouping you've then got the soul which is and then the journey grouping and the self which is the return grouping um and actually businesses use these quite a lot to um to understand like what is the archetype of the business and then it allows people to understand the voice in the um you know like you know what how would the business respond in certain situations so um here it's called the outlaw but um you know um the the rebel is is what it's sometimes called so like virgin is is known as a rebel they go into a market always going up against the main player and say that they're the alternative so it's a it's a concept that's used um very powerfully in in, in business um and so jung basically uh said there's kind of like two axes there's the uh, act and reflect and like you know basically a lot of us either work in one or the other like we do both but we have our preferences and we either think or feel again we all do both but we'll have preferences um and the sort of young energies uh based on you know I, I chan kind of model is the sort of fiery red the sunshine yellow the earth green and the um the cool blue so you know these being sort of um the fire sun earth and, and water um so what would be great is in the poll right now so in the session chat just write what color you think you are looking at that where would you most like to um to to work just see those coming through a sec so i think you can pink yes michael thank you perfect and and the the key bit here and michael start it off as people hate to be put into like any one quadrant and so you know um although they do tend to prefer their own quadrant but there is like a um there's there's a reality of like how we do like to to operate and then there's a um you know we're, we're able to operate from all of them but using a group of people who have different preferences will create like better you know better questions and better thinking which we'll go into light I actually sometimes put one in the middle, which is kind of a, uh, when you do this like disc, it's called uh, D-I-S-C, and then, so I do O, so like disco. And O is one that's a gecko and it can be all the colors. So that's for another presentation. Um, sorry, my uh, my screen keeps warning me about Google. Okay, so, um, so it got me thinking, like this kind of, um, this 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 sort of shape actually does isn't a million miles away and i know like the left brain right brain model isn't as um it isn't as straightforward as just you know logic versus creativity but there is this kind of like think and feel on the left brain to the right brain and then we act out in the world and then we reflect you know back in the brain so it's interesting i just started to you know that's i mapped that and just you know i've been playing with that and it, it, we've got two things that happen we've got how we reflect and how we feel about it and how we think and then we've got how we act in the world, how we think and how we feel. So been playing with that. Um, so yeah, let's take a step back here. Tick, there you go. First, uh, first of a few. Um, I then look at how you could map like the different personality types um, across um, the Jungian model of act, reflect, think and feel. And actually like most of them map back in some way or another. So you've got, you know, Myers-Briggs, Belbin, um you've got um there's disc in here um there's enneagram uh there's um there's there's even more than that i think there's insights 
Um, you can even map like Kolb, like learning methods to this. And it starts to you, it starts to blow your mind. This was the bit where I was just like, wow, this is amazing that this is kind of repeated in so many um, um, like models. And in, in, um, so that that permeation is, is, is incredible. So anyway, so just a bit of an insight to that. This is something that, you know, we could talk about and discuss for um, you know, many hours, but I think the best thing to do is to try and look at how we like go about using it. So in terms of embracing diversity of thought, you know, each one of us, we've got pinks, we've got lights, we've got middle, we've got uh, all sorts of different colors coming through. Um, and so there's some tendencies around the different quadrants to ask different questions. So um, the red asks what more often, the yellow asks who, the green asks how, and the blue asks why. So um, co-creating will uh, get us to ask better questions, which in turn gives us better answers. Um, so let's try and do a group sounding board. So it's um, run as a five, five, five. Hopefully some of you guys are uh, um, uh, aware of this or have done it before. So I'm gonna invite some of you into the group um, and actually one of you to sit in the hot seat. So let's see um, who uh, would like to do that as well. So um, yeah, let's... Um, if you come into the group, we're going to co-create a Kitar platypus. Um, and just so you know, that's another um, another one of the three. That's the Venn diagram. Yeah. Sam's in. Hello, Sam. Nice to see you. Hey. Michael, how are you doing? You good, man? Anyone I'm else got, you got a hat? That's good. Anyone else got headbands? Yeah, I didn't have a headband, so I substituted. JP. JP. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Michael nice oh, okay that's uh a stupid hat now and we've got a few more i think you've got to like request like voice and uh and sound and then you get um you get added into the group jp how you doing man nice to see you oh i can't hear you at the moment yeah you can you can share yeah everyone share audio and video and you should be able to, to come in is there one or two more that are able to come in is irene are you, are you keen I don't know if Philippe's still here. And maybe Marcus, I don't know whether you guys are. If not, we're, anyone's like, welcome. It, like, it's not, it's a, we're a friendly bunch. You, you, you don't have to sit in the hot seat. You can just ask questions. While we're waiting, um, yeah, Michael, you said you were pink. <laughs> just, just to make a point that I don't really <laughs> like like when you try to map things in abstract things like this. Of course, everything, we can map people in, in infinite amounts of models and mappings, and we all do it internally. That's what our brain does. We, we constantly map everything we see around and puts it in boxes. Is it a snake? Is it a, just a, just a uh, twig on the ground and stuff like that. That's it's an yeah. essential part of survival. Is this food or is it uh, is it shit? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> at, the, at the same time, this is we have to remember this is just mapping and never reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, great. Believe <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Thank you, man. Like that looks nice. wonderful. Have we got a? Um, I don't know where Irene is. She was just about to join, I think, but. Um, Okay, so uh, JP, you good? Uh, you're on. You're mute, and as well as and you too, Sam. What? Okay, we're gonna get going. So, okay, how to run a sounding board? So, um, like first up, we agree this is confidential. Again, Irene, uh, Irene's waiting for approval. Uh, Sam, if you could add her, that'd be great. So agree, this is confidential. So we all put our thumbs in the air to say, it, all those has been recorded and broadcast across the whole of Catapult. Okay, um, next up, indicate the importance of the hot seat. So if you wanna be in a hot seat, keep your thumb up. If you're sort of vaguely interested, keep it down. And if you're not so interested, go to the bottom. So where are each of you? So Sam and Michael, okay. Um, and then when in the hot seat, we say like what level of confidentiality it is. So level one, you know, keep it within this group and the entire um, group of Catapult. Two, only talk to me about when I talked about it, and three, never mention it. Um, we have five minutes to describe the situation, five minutes of clarifying questions, which we'll all take turns in and we'll put our hands up to ask, and then five minutes of feedback. And um, feedback is um, it's quite, it says basically, like, it's your responsibility what you do with the feedback. So um, 
Okay, so uh, Irene, uh, nice, nice to have you here. Thank you. Okay, so uh, who wants to go first, Michael or Sam? Don't mind. Can do. Okay, Sam, do you want to go at first? Let's uh, let's go. You've got five minutes to describe your situation. Go. Right. Okay. My situation. So, I am launching an app called Syncify that lets you listen to podcasts and audiobooks with your friends in sync together. So you can like listen live at the same time, or you can just like catch up on the same things that they listened to earlier that day. You can see like their listening history and you can kind of subscribe to be in, like a podcast club, book club together with this person. So you're just aware of what people are listening to and actually in touch, you can talk about the same things. Cause it just really annoys me that I'll listen to something and like, I'm just in my own little private silo. So I'm building this app to kind of solve this problem. And I've had some really good feedback from people. And yesterday we did like a video which kind of went like slightly viral. And so we kind of got like idea market fit. We've had like those people kind of trying to demand this app, but we haven't built it. So we should be releasing like a beta next week. But I've been relying on uh, devs who are kind of just giving their time freely because they really like the idea. But like that means to do like two or three hours a day. And I haven't currently got a CTO co founder and I can't spend all my time coding myself. So I'm kind of at this stage where I try and like raise money so I can just pay people to work full time and move faster, but without having the actual product. So like it's a lower valuation or waiting a bit for like maybe a month or two for the product to slowly get its way there to then prove that I've got product market fit to then go and raise money, but at like sort of a way better valuation, I can probably get a lot more money. And I'm just worried that the timing of things like the opportunities maybe will go if someone else comes out with it and these kind of things and so it's just having not raised money myself before and like i'm just a bit confused as to the best way to go around like these decisions and that's less than five minutes i could talk longer about my life <laughs> <or something, laughs> that's but... awesome man so um we know we can now jump in like and get with clarifying questions and like try and understand so would anyone like to go first with uh, a question put your hand up and we'll uh we'll, we'll jump in um you know one at a time so uh yeah Demiva. hi um hey sam who are your users well yeah we haven't fully gone precise on that which is one of the things we're kind of being a bit vague and seeing what happens but as in i built it for people like me that listen to a lot of podcasts and i kind of generally do it for sort of self-improvement and learning and business and things and i would just get so much more by listening to that with other people and sharing my ideas as i have them so you could say self-improvers but we are talking about like potential education side of things for remote learning like with universities or any kind of businesses where you want to share your insights with people so if you listen to a great podcast with elon musk on like joe rogan but 10 minutes of it is actually relevant for business and the rest of it is like two hours of stuff you don't need everyone in your company to hear you only want to share like the 10 minute useful part so it's great for teams and these things will be aligned but that's like already lots of different users and <laughs> so um good that was a good vague answer there <laughs> Okay. Um, next question from someone. I'll go if there's not one. Um, what's your what's your sort of vision visional dream? Sorry, Irene. I'll go. And what's your visional dream for this? Um, what, what what would you like to see it do? The dream the is to kind of be syncing on everything, so not just audio books and podcasts, but also articles. So when you read things on like a newspaper or something, you could like comment on it almost like you have like a google document and they could share that with your friends and just to be able to be on sick of these things and same with netflix or youtube this kind of stuff because i basically i don't like social media and talking about the things i did or making content sort of showing off about your life i rather just prefer to share experiences and like the things that you're doing i'd, I'd like to do that with my friends like obviously my friends can't come jump off a waterfall with me in borneo but i can just do that and enjoy it but the things that I do do, like listen to a podcast whilst I'm on the bus to this waterfall, I'd prefer to share that with them. And I just sort of want to flip the way we do social media, really. It's the bigger vision. Awesome. Thanks. Um, Irene, I'll let you go. Oh, I think it, you're, you might be muted. Uh, no, no. Okay. Hello, hello. 
Yeah, I yes. was uh, wondering, Sam Harris, thank you so much for sharing. I was wondering what are your values and what is, uh, you know, what makes you different in, in this uh, project that you're willing to do? Um, I don't know. So I am, like I just mentioned about social media, I do have like a bit of a confusing state of like, I do really want to make ethical tech. Like I don't like the way social media affects your brain and sort of makes you aspire to do different things and can end up making you depressed. I really want to sort of focus more on like the mental health benefits, but I don't want to tie people into just using apps all the time. Uh, so a bit confused there, but I do want to, we've got like a 1% pledge for mental health and 1% for like helping education. Cause like the point of the app is to really help people be like happier and become smarter. So those things i mean i also like i ran an environmental business before and so i'm kind of into the eco-friendly things but like i'm not really sure how to really i don't think i can be like a core part of the app as such but um it's a personal thing so and like my long-term goal was if, if i was to like be super successful and get rich would just be like go into philanthropy and do cool awesome stuff so that's kind of what i would like to do with my life if possible cool cool Thanks, Sam. Um, anyone else with a question? I'm going to put like someone on the spot. Otherwise, Philippe, are you uh, are you are you unmuted? Uh, we can't hear you, mate. Unmuted. So, hey, what, what are the the unwanted consequences out of making what you're doing? So, For you personally, yeah, unwanted consequences are. One, if people use things like sort of hate stuff and like can be in their own silos of like, cool, I'm in like, just like this group with my five mates who want to like bomb places or like speak horrible things about people. So one, possibly letting people have like their own sort of silo where they can connect on this stuff. Um, other one, people just sort of getting addicted to being dependent on their phone and not doing stuff by themselves. Cause I really think that we are losing our ability to think for ourselves. And we kind of, whenever we're not sure what to do, we get our phone out as a bit of a crutch and we don't just like sit and be gentle with our own minds and like wallow in our own thoughts. And I don't want to like increase people's dependence on that. Um, and I guess the other thing is just like putting lots of time and effort and stress into something that fails. That's an unwanted consequence possibly. And like, I could have spent this entire lockdown, like playing guitar, going cycling and, and reading and writing and these kind of things. But instead of in like coding and running around, like trying to build a business, which is all my hours. And I'd prefer to like enjoy my life, <laughs> but I mean, I'm enjoying the process of building it, but at some point I want to have like the time to do these fun things as well. So possible consequences. Awesome, great, great response. So we've we've now just done that that five minutes. So what like we're gonna give you some advice, Sam. What would you most like advice on? Um well yeah, back to the sort of question I was initially saying of do they think I should try and build it as quickly as possible and just do whatever I can to get hold of money right now to do it, or sort of go a bit slower and wait for like a better valuation and things and any other personal tips of stuff i haven't thought of because okay cool like other people have way more ideas than your possible like window of thinking is so like i'm kind of open okay awesome man thank you so if you don't mind uh like turning off your camera and and audio oh yeah so do you guys leave because i'll be here no no stay yeah, stay, stay here. here i think you can oh yeah i can yeah yeah don't, don't leave yeah, yeah just, doing that. just so we don't get feedback from what we're saying so um so i'm gonna go for sort of like round the room so um on mine so uh Dimitra, could you want to go first and give sam like no more than a, a minute bit of advice on what you think would would help him hey sam um i think that ha having go and going through this process at the moment i would say that you've got a lot of questions that you could sort of get more answers on and if you can get an MVP and just start getting it out there, whatever it is, and if you haven't got an MVP, just start asking people sort of how they would use it, what they would want, sort of um, what they're using at the moment, why it's not working, and, and, um, and, and start building that out. Then you're, you're, you're almost building a case for it 
even if you haven't got the product and you can start um, and start the process of fundraising as well because it's going to take fucking ages anyway. So start having those conversations and it's a bit like um, it's a bit like a relationship, just kind of getting to know that person and seeing if your values are aligned, seeing if if you actually want to want to have them telling you how to do shit. All of that can, starts now. So so just go for all of it and and don't overthink that because it's all going to take ages anyway. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, Irene, you're next on my screen. Well, what, who, who am Someone, <laughs> what a responsibility. <laughs> now, I think that uh, actually in the parallel going to what uh, the meta is, uh, is mentioning, taking also the time to go deeper and actually check uh, within within yourself and within the self, uh, what are we doing and for whom and what is the real intention of it, and uh, being aware also of the, of the because is is also a response an extra responsibility we add when we are creating something and we are also trying to uh, create a new self. So we are creating a need. So you know it's such a huge uh, deeper process. That's at least what I can advise, that everything goes in parallel. And uh, building the connections help us also to understand ourselves. So don't be afraid of reshaping and rechanging and, and starting as many times as possible when you need to go through the level because it's like a child. It's, you know, growing wild. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Irene. Uh, Philippe, you're uh, my, next on my screen. Uh, thank you for sharing. Um, I like your enthusiasm and what, what I got out from your answers or from your description is like, man, have fun what you're doing. I mean, it's it's not the goal. It's not like, you know, you might get rich or you might not get rich. I mean, there are so many apps failing. Uh, so many apps, uh, apps are really not necessary, necessary and people find it out after a certain time. So if you don't play guitar, uh, singing with the birds uh being out there while while going for it uh and and um while looking for what 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 um or for while getting there what you're looking for i think it's it's very important uh that you learn to do the process in a way that it's helpful for you um it, it does not make sense to, to cut all the strings and uh to you know totally full, fully focus in it and then uh the chance of failing are, are high uh, so it has to be fun to fail, um, and it has to be also like a, a kind of a healthy uh, process. Uh, and if you're a successful man, <laughs> all the best luck for you. <laughs> awesome, thanks, Philippe. Uh, JP, you're next on my screen. Oh, can't hear you, man. Can you unmute? Mm. And I think your internet's also struggling, dude. <laughs> Should we try and come back to you? We can't hear you. Do you want to try? Keep trying. We'll go to Michael and then you can come in. Michael, you're up. And like, hopefully JP will break into sound halfway through your speech. Yeah, yeah I can only uh, agree with Flip. Like, you try. To try to have a like a, a, a curious silly mind when doing this because apps are hard <laughs> to succeed with and uh, don't be afraid to ask for help in 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 even in unexpected places so awesome awesome um thank you so um but you've joined in like do you want to just jump in with a with some thoughts having been a participant or what watching the uh, the discussion <laughs> okay Awesome. Okay. Thanks, man. 
um yeah so from my side yeah sam like i think yeah you the 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 the, the the unintended consequences discussion is like fascinating because uh yeah you, you can suddenly blink and uh, be 10 years older so there is there is that element but also there's i think like running your own business is just like incredibly powerful to understand uh so much about yourself and you know you actually um really understand how you operate in in in, in quite stressful like situations so um I think always set out with the end in mind. So like know like where you'd like to get off or what you, you know, what because it may have a projection or a, a life beyond you. So just think about that when you're setting things things up because um your relationship with it uh it is not you, you know, you separate the sort of art from the artist as such. And so you, you, you just need to know that you're um yeah, you you you've you you're, you're you're birthing something that may not necessarily like be you uh with it all the way so understand like where you would um look to get off but you know in the early stages it's about getting escape velocity and just really pushing hard and getting enough people to to believe in it at the same time and and if it requires funding then funding too so awesome right so sam if you want to come back in and just give us a bit of feedback on like what that was like um it'd be great to just hear your uh your thoughts and yeah cool really cool thanks guys that was really really helpful um yeah uh <laughs> my thoughts were this is great i'm so happy i'm getting advice uh, <laughs> um oh my god can i make notes fast enough that, that those are the main thoughts going on um but yeah i was certainly asking myself some of those questions and it's really interesting to like think about deeper inside yourself and who you are and what you're doing why you're doing them and things and yeah where you would get off if it goes to plan or not at all and how to kind of enjoy the whole journey regardless is always useful stuff to think i think um yeah also wish i had a bandana but <laughs> to me. there's time the rest of the mm. event you'll start seeing them more and more i'm sure so uh people are probably wearing spandex on their uh, lower half as well you just can't see it yeah that's uh, the, 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 the the catapult way so okay our um um let's just round up here so uh yeah the final question on everyone's lips do you think the uh standing board model will scale i don't know let's just see like what's the thumbs up is it thumbs down where's everyone do you think you'll go out and use it oh, yeah <laughs> not jp because we haven't heard from him jp do you want to try and talk now no <laughs> 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 <I'm gonna be laughs> no no <laughs> uh it's like the best of both worlds. You're here, but we can't hear you. This is amazing. <laughs> Love you, man. <laughs> um, so yes, will it scale? Tick. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can take this back to your like, teams and use it. Um, so we've covered like Union Foundations. There's a jungle out there. Embracing the diversity of thought. Group signing board. And thank you. So uh, now hop off, everyone, uh, into your next sessions or wherever you need to go. Mm -hmm. And let's try and get a party going later somehow in some sort of DJ session. So uh, I'm going to try and share my D my laptop and you can like play a song each. So that, that that's uh, I did it at the weekend yeah. and it was good fun. So let's try and do that later. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, OK. All right. Thank you, Hello. Sam. For being in the seat. Thank you. OK, three, two, one. Woo. Woo.